Following on from the Snap T tutorial, this is a very, very similar cast, but it's one I tend to use more, and it's called the Circle Cast. Whereas the Snap T makes a sharp loop and a sharp turn around the pulley, the Circle Spay makes a big circle. Why do we want a bigger circle? If we do the snap tee wrong, you hear that snap and that crack? If we had a heavy fly on or a sink tip, that fly snaps off and goes shooting off upstream. There's too much energy in it. We need to smoothen off that pulley. That's one reason. Another reason is if we're using a sink tip or even a sunk line, we need a bigger lift, bigger lift, bigger lift to pull it out and then lay it down. It has much more lifting power than the snap tee. Here's the snap tee. If that was dug in with a sunk line, it wouldn't come out of the water. Big circle lift. Whee! A lot of lifting power and it smooths out the pulley on the upstream side so we don't snap off sink tips, big heavy tungsten flies. So we use the circle lift for a bigger, higher lift and to smooth out any changes of direction on the upstream side, any snaps around the pulley so we don't snap off any flies. Another reason why we use a circle cast is if we're stood on the bank and we, can't, we don't have any space for a D-loop so we can really lift up and throw our anchor way out in the stream there, spin round and get away with a cast. So it's a really good fishing cast. I'm going to make a 90 degree circle spay, foot facing 90 degrees across the stream, line on the dangle. All I'm going to do is lift up, lift up higher, 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 and I'm going to draw a big circle and sweep underneath it like that. It's a bit of a lie that it's a circle, because the circle suggests that it does that and then drops. We don't do that we actually flatten off the bottom of the circle. So when we lift, we flatten off that circle there. And in the same way that we make an inclined sweep to create a nice straight anchor, that's what we're doing with the bottom of the circle. We're straightening it off and putting a gentle incline up. See that? You see the way the tip of the line landed like the jumbo jet, rear wheels first, and we've got that lovely live anchor, which I've talked about before. It gives you really energy efficient casts. So to make a 90 degree, I'm gonna draw the circle in front of me. There you go. The tip landed exactly a rod length away from me, just out in the stream, exactly where I want it. And we know with all waterborne casts from that point on, all we're gonna do is come around the spiral staircase, make the D-loop, and make our forward delivery. What if we want our anchor to be further out in the stream because we're right up against the bushes, we wanna make a smaller D-loop so we don't catch the trees? Simple, just throw the circle out into the stream like that, make the D-loop, and you can position your anchor wherever you want. If you've got a lot of space behind you, you want your anchor a bit closer in, you can draw the circle closer to you, come round, big D-loop, you can get more distance. The circle space is really good for being able to position your anchor because it gives you a lot of time to think about where to put it. 90 degree circle space.